Hello, Super Fam, and welcome to another astounding, super awesome, excellent, amazing, turtle-rific episode of Turtle Tuesday. And today we're going to be having a look at the Bandai SH Figuarts Leonardo action figure based off of the cartoon figure from the late 80s and the early 90s. These things are awesome, so I just can't wait to open this up for you. So having a quick look here at Leonardo's packaging, we can see that it's similar to the Raphael packaging, and actually all the turtles have very similar packaging. You have the turtle right up here in the front, the window with the turtle on the inside, where you can see the turtle and some of their accessories, Feast of Flesh font, pointing out that these are actually not made for children. They're ages 15 and up, so they're clearly marketed and aimed towards collectors. We have some of that really cool cartoon graphic on the side. On the back, we see some of the poses. We see some of the optional parts where you can, you know, you put the swords in the back there. And we can see how Leonardo fits in with the rest of the group. Now let's pop him out of the package. Now I'm gonna be really careful because if you remember last time when I took Raphael out of the package, this little plastic bubble here that holds everything in, when I took it off, remember, we had a yard sale and everything went everywhere. Everything must go. So I'm gonna be careful and I'm gonna take it off with him laying down. <laughs> I don't know if I can actually tip it up without everything falling out. So I'm going to take things out and I'm going to show you one by one. So in the packaging you will find exactly one Leonardo action figure complete with half shell and blue bandana, one extra interchangeable Leonardo head, two katana blades, one sewer lid, the extra belt add-on with the sheaths for putting his swords into, and a various assortment of turtle hands for all of your posing needs. Now starting at Leonardo's head, you can see that that is an incredibly cartoon accurate head sculpt for Leonardo. Like that's ridiculous. I feel like I'm looking at the cartoon in the viewfinder of my camera. They got the, the silver L on his belt here. They have the softer rubberish for the, the front here. They got the shell and it's shaped around his back. You have all of his elbow and knee pads and wrist pads in all the right places. This is the perfect color green for the animated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo. I'm 100% happy with this figure. It has all the exact same articulation as the previous figure, as a Raphael. On the inside, you have this ball joint here that's also on a hinge. On the elbow, you have a, a nice double joint on the elbow. You have the wrist, which is actually on a ball joint. You also have a bicep swivel on both arms. Then the legs, you have what appears to be a ball joint and also a swivel. You got a double jointed knee with a crazy amount of articulation. You have the ankles on a swivel and a rocker, and you also have toe articulation. The head itself has neck articulation and head articulation. And like I mentioned before, you can actually move the arms forward like this, which is actually really akin to the older Marvel Legends figures. All in all, I think that this is a perfect action figure of the animated Leonardo. Like 2AT. You guys knocked it out of the park. Now here's that other head that I previously showed you in the video and I'm just gonna pop off the head that's currently on his body and pop this one right on there. It's a really simple process and then you just slot the bandana right in here in the back and you end up having a whole other separate head. It's a great idea and I'm glad they packed two heads with each of these figures. All right, Leo, I know you're probably not very happy with this but I'm just gonna take just a quick second here and I'm just gonna rip your head off like so. Don't worry, buddy, I'm just gonna pop this new head right on there like so and then you can see that little tiny hole there yep bandana just fits right in there just like that ta-da that looks awesome man talk about a really cool leonardo figure now the other thing i'm going to do right now is i'm going to pop off the piece of his belt back here and i'm going to put this one on here so he can hold his swords and it's a simple process you just stick your finger on there pop it out you got these three little holes here and you just put it right in there little pegs hold it in and ta-da, Leonardo now has sheaths for his swords. Shing, shing. Now for as cool as it is to have Leonardo with the swords in his back like this, really, I wanna have them in his hands. So let's get to the hands part of the video. Two open strangly hands, two semi-open grippy hands. Ah, here's the ones we're looking for. Two hands for holding his swords, just like that. And here we have Leonardo with both katanas in hand. You can see that they're nice and tight. They're not going anywhere, they're perfect for posability because all the limbs are nice and tight, the swords are nice and tight. You can do pretty much whatever you want with this figure. The only thing that I would say, and it's a little bit nitpicky, I wish that they had have given us holes in each turtle's foot so that you could have different poses you know, with a figure stand. 
as it is right now, you have to have both feet on the ground. And these turtles are actually well weighted and they're well balanced. However, there's no kick poses with these turtles because there's no figure stand to have that kind of posability. And here we see Leonardo pose next to everyone's favorite red masked hothead of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Raphael. He's actually the first character that I opened, so if you'd like to see that video, it'll be linked in the end of this video as an end card. You can click on that too and see that review. But as you can see, these figures pose incredibly well next to each other. And you can't just get one, you can't just get two. You're gonna wanna pick up all four of these characters because in my opinion, as a Turtles collector, these are an absolute must fan if you are a fan of anything to do with the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon series. These, even in spite of the fact that NECA has that amazing 8-pack coming out, which I've got in the mail coming to me after Comic-Con, by the way, in spite of that, I still think that these are going to be a better, more accurate cartoon representation of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from that awesome, awesome cartoon series back in the late 80s and the early 90s. Anyhow, turtle lovers, that's all the time I have today to make this video, so thank you so much for watching this video. It really does mean a lot to me. If you liked it, please slap a like on it so I know you liked it. If you have anything to say, anything at all, please leave it in the comments down below because I love to hear from you, and if you think you may want to see more of this kind of content end up in your inbox, then don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss a video. And until next time, keep it radical.